Now, thank you for joining us today. This is episode five of the Speak Up Africa podcast. Now, let us talk about our environment, about climate action. Um, my name is Anyona Bulungu. And my name is Wangeshi Faremi. Karibu sana. And follow us across our social media platforms at Speak Up Africa. Africa with a K. Again, K is always constant. Okay, now the conversation on climate action. So most recently we had the conference of parties, um, mm -hmm. 27, that was held in Egypt. Yeah. And just to sort us off, there has been a lot of conversations on Twitter concerning the conference of parties. Mm. So we had um, some people uh, calling out the global leaders for arriving in jets, private jets that um, use fuel. And yet at the same time, they call for, you know, climate action. action yeah. yeah, which is quite hypocritical if it you really think the about point it. Completely. Exactly. So I was just going through my Twitter and I came across mm. this Twitter from fossil fuel and mm. Yeah, I can't what, pronounce it. What, 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 what? I shan't on this, so I can't, I can't <laughs> say I shan't. <laughs> you may want to sit down for this sequence of events. Mm. On that day, the US Let called for you up there. stronger yes. fossil fuels face down text at um, COP27. Uh -huh. 24 hours later, uh -huh. the US government approved a new gas terminal. Monday, mm. uh, so that day is when they, they called for the fossil fuel um, face down. Okay. And then on 24 hours later, they approved a new gas terminal. Mm. And then on Monday, they approved mm. an oil terminal. Mm. So if we are looking to actually change the narratives, what we're actually doing is just changing it in matters of speech, but our actions speak a totally different language. No, no we're just, <laughs> what our leaders are doing is they're finding time, they're, to, they're finding an opportunity to, to sit vacation. down and go use taxpayers' money. To go on vacation. Yeah, go on vacation. <laughs> Egypt sounds like a very good destination, oh, yes, right? Because mm. so of the desert and all of that. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. what, what's the whole point? You, you went to sit down and talk about um, climate action mm -hmm. and then, for one, you arrive in jets. Mm -hmm. So many of them, we're already endangering our air as it is. Mm -hmm. And then you, you're saying after that, right after that, they approve another gas terminal. Mm -hmm. Then an oil terminal. And then an oil terminal. Yeah. Defeats a lot of logic. I think let's just break it down for our audience to yeah. understand why we actually have a problem with all of these things. Why do yeah. we have a problem with people uh, arriving in jets and how does it translate to the climate action mm. in, in, in itself? Let's mm. start by um, actually explaining explaining that yeah. um, the world is going through cl uh, climate change mm -hmm. and essentially this climate change is happening because of the carbon in the atmosphere yeah and uh, the release of uh, greenhouse gases mm -hmm. that um you know yeah. make the earth to get warm because there's no terrestrial radiation there's no the radiation is not going back so it's just hitting the earth and it's not going back so mm. essentially the world becomes warmer so what does global it translate? Warming. Yes, exactly. So it's, what does it translate to? It translates to very many things happening, mm. including the droughts that we have been seeing in East Africa. Yeah, yeah. And Kenya has suffered greatly. And we also we, have... Do you, do you know Kenya is going through um, a, a drought phase, mm. so to speak? So many people don't know about it, but people are dying of starvation. Yes, there's like a lot of famine. Time. There's a lot of famine. Yeah, in the, people in are the, dying in, of starvation big time, currently. And, and it, this is the same case when it comes to Tanzania and Uganda. Yes. And uh, we are actually going through, we are suffering, the, This is these are the effects of climate change as of now. Yeah, as, as agricultural of giants, as a region, we are borrowing or expecting, you know, help mm -hmm. from from the west mm -hmm. but we at the farmers be at the farmers yeah. and you see the people do not people who live in a place where there's not drought now do not really think that climate change affects them but i'm here to say that climate change affects everyone it so once it, the, the the temperatures get like they rise a mm -hmm. little bit we have uh perennial crops like maize mm -hmm. being affected yeah so the seasons have to change they become mm -hmm. longer yeah um we have diseases like malaria becoming mm -hmm. prevalent mm -hmm. in our in our in our communities and in our societies. And so now we have to actually relocate funds that were used and to something Africa else. And Africa is a malaria prone it's region. Something, exactly. It's, it's one. And we have we been fighting it for so years. We lose so many people to malaria. It it's, it's very serious. Yes. And what if I told you that if the earth continues to warm up, mm. um, parasitic diseases and um, communicable diseases like malaria will continue to spread from one uh, person to the other. Mm. And it's it's a problem because if you think that the reason as to why these things are growing is because mm. of the warming of the earth, yeah. then you have a reason to get angry. Yeah. You have a reason to get angry. Mm. Environmental activism and mm. environmental sustainability has always been taken as you know something you do at your free time, and it 
in a kwanga na like you, your own people there are people who do that mm. but essentially it's supposed to be everyone's action it's supposed to be mm. we all need to have mm. some sort of call to action towards mm. all of this because mm. it affects all of us yeah but then how did we get here um, you know it's not because it's not just um an east african problem it's, 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 it's a, a global, global issue yeah, it's, a, right? it's a global problem how did we get here you know we can say we've we've been going through an in, an industrial age mm-hmm. you know you know just pre- primarily the entire world yeah. i wanted to say as a region but the entire world mm-hmm. right and we we're still constructing mm-hmm. <laughs> we're still you know uh, you know we're still start, going starting up a lot of yeah in yeah, general yeah exactly and and that is not doing any good mm-hmm. for our environment yeah and this is the thing we expected trees to save us <laughs> but now we don't even have them anymore mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so i i just i just want to know like as a region do we have a particular cause that we're taking like a particular say track that we are we are following when it comes to uh climate action i mean it could be together with the rest of the world because like i said it's not a single it's not a problem we're going to handle single handedly because the entire universe is going through it mm-hmm. but is there is there something we are following as a region are let's, we let's just, are we doing something because we were talking about cop 27 our leaders also participated yes, right yes yes but actually but i listened to um president ruto's speech uh, in cop 27 it was yeah. quite heavy yeah? yeah he went ahead to put forward that these small things the industrialized countries mm. have done to actually cause um the climate change in has affected kenya in great means it has mm. it has gone the extra mile in affecting us and mm. he talked about relocating funds to ensure that they fed um this spent about for something million or billion mm-hmm, mm-hmm. just to feed people mm. emergency like it was not for relief food something that was That's not planned That's what I'm saying we're going we're going through starvation <laughs> yeah we are as a serious problem mm-hmm. but it, it just it's interesting that you've, you've mentioned president Ruto because he's um he he talked about the way he'd like to help save the the planet or save the environment mm-hmm. um particularly in his country mm-hmm. which is Kenya and he talks about the way he wants to he's 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 already started affecting it a plan to plant 5 billion trees in the next 5 years and if he makes it to 10 years then 10 billion trees mm-hmm. which first of all i think so it's, it's a it's a very beautiful step like uh, that the first family because i've seen as well uh, the uh, the first lady and the, the first daughter they are they are taking it upon themselves to plant trees and it's interesting because i had her speak and uh, that's when i had i knew that uh, for example for kenya that the forest cover that we only have now is below 8% mm mm-hmm. and this is all due to um industrialization and all this manufacturing that is going about and all these companies were cutting trees to provide room for those but what are we doing okay mm. you want me to answer what are we doing as a, as a, no, as a, it as could, a no, no, no. let, let it me just could let me just refresh this question, question. And, <laughs> and um take it back so that we can talk to our audience about exactly why mm-hmm. cop 27 is our conversation for today mm, yeah. essentially we recognize that um climate action is a global action as you had said it yes, it is it not is. something that is done because if the us decides to continuously uh, use fossil fuels and continuously uh, increase the amount of carbon in the atmosphere it doesn't affect united states of america But only no. yeah. it affects kenya mm. okay mm. so it is imperative for us to look at it from a global perspective and then mm. we um come down we come down to yeah. the point of you and i as mm-hmm. individuals and yona mm-hmm. um and we start by noting clearly that um the conference of parties for this year is normally uh is, is based on um three three let's say um initiatives yes so um one of them is the kyoto protocol and mm-hmm. the other one is the paris agreement mm. so essentially the kyoto protocol required com- that the parties that were part of it they committed to release a certain amount of units into the atmosphere yes. okay what they called it uh, the assigned amount units mm. so for instance let me just give um, a number. general example yeah. okay. let's say the united states was supposed to produce 100 um units units assigned amount units mm. uh, of pollution to the atmosphere to ensure that the the world was sustainable there was mm. some sort of sustainable development mm. and essentially if the united states did not produce that amount of units they if they exceeded to say like by 50% mm. they will have to pay back mm. to the world that 50% let me just give you a breakdown mm. if united states is supposed to produce 100 and uh, they end up producing 150 yes. those 50 have to be paid back through different ways emission mm. trading carbon mm. trading that is just generally carbon trading and um clean development projects joint implementation projects yes. and such like so essentially what happens in such situations when the united states does not 
re, uh, exceeds the assigned amount units that they're supposed to they're supposed to come back to a country country like Kenya mm -hmm. um essentially a developing country a less industrialized country and generate uh, get back those 50 that they have exceeded mm. and they do that through projects um, of um, renewable energy projects to reduce the amount of pollution and Correct. things like that and things mm. like that so one of the things that east africa is doing is encouraging investors to come and actually do that and this is from like an x1 countries these are developed countries coming into developing countries because mm. also kenya has their own assigned amount units yes. so as individuals one um as as a country as Kenya, as Uganda, as Tanzania, mm. we have our own assigned amount units according mm. to the Kyoto Protocol that requires us to not exceed those amounts, assigned amount units. Mm -hmm. And if we go lower, yeah. we have some to trade. So yeah. if we spend 50 and we were supposed to, to have 100, mm -hmm. we have 50 to trade. trade yeah. yeah. So we can actually call upon, we can actually mm. call upon developed countries to come in buy those 50 from us mm. we can um, take part in the un carbon trading where we actually mm. sell that to them mm. and then we come up with development projects clean development projects that ensure that we reduce the amount of carbon in the, in the atmosphere, atmosphere. Yeah. so now that was a commitment that the parties that took part in the kyoto protocol had to take up yes so true. now another one is the Paris agreement that mm -hmm. requires every country to have a national determinant contributor yeah. so everyone has to say what are we mm. as a country yeah. as a region mm -hmm. doing to reduce the amount of carbon in the atmosphere yeah. so now it comes back to east africa as kenya as tanzania and as uganda what are you doing to reduce the amount of carbon mm. in the atmosphere so mm. essentially these two agreements are the ones that guide the 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 conversations that we had in the conference Fact of parties mm. 27 the conversations that we have about climate change and climate action in general Mm. Now, the biggest problem is the Kyoto Protocol was a commitment. Yeah. The countries that were members mm -hmm. were to commit. Mm. But it was as simple as uh, once the five-phase program was done since 1997 to 2012. Wait. I'm counting the terms of years. 1997 to 2012 is five years. Maths, maths, maths. Is it what? five years? No, it's not five years. It's That's 15. Oh, how many years is it to to from 1997, five years from then? 20? To a two. To two. <laughs> wow math left the group chat yes it literally walked away <laughs> so yeah so five years later we mm. had uh, parties uh pulling out they were like yes. we can't do this anymore we can't commit mm. to reducing the amount of of and you see when when you can't commit countries that are actually not polluting the ones that are not even getting to the assigned amount units yeah. they don't want to, to 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 make the extra effort i don't want to suffer because of your mistakes exactly basically. Uh, so if you have like you and Yona, let's mm. just give an example with the two of us. Yeah. You are developed countries. Your assigned amount units are 100. Mm -hmm. I am a developing country. My assigned amount units are 100. Mm. If I am working so hard to ensure that my assigned amount units are, you know, 50 so Listen, that I can have yeah. like 50 to trade. Yeah. And then you pull out. I have no one to trade with. Then mm. I, I don't I don't struggle. Then you're so just going to, suffer, to you're going to suffer the consequences of my action because it's not an isolated country. It's not a pro problem. It's not a problem being... for one people yeah. it's the whole world it's yeah the whole world gets to suffer the problems of yeah. climate change mm -hmm. and so by the end of the day you find that no one wants to take that initiative that's when why we're having conversations, came back, conversations about you know things like the ozone layer you know yeah. you know it, it's interesting because africa is pretty much does the least to harm the environment as compared to other places yes um and you see it's not even a, a, a point of um what they're doing continuously. Or, yeah. So what they have done before. When mm. the world went through an industrialization stage, yes. Africa did not go through that. And yes. other developing countries didn't yes. go through that. But the developed ones went through that. And we are mm. suffering the consequences of, of the industrialization act. from then. Yeah. Yes. So it is imperative for us to actually note the role of the globe towards mm. this thing and why we, we insist on Conference of Parties 27. But by the end of the day, we also need to recognize how as countries as yeah. individual countries we are taking part in the global climate action mm -hmm. so if we are not able to reach our assigned amount units how are we trading in this carbon mm. and this is where issues like grants come in yeah or money was given for to do what and then yeah. we eat that money mm. We eat that money and the money is for climate action. Yeah. We traded in carbon. We got investors coming and they want to start up a, a project that is a clean development project. Mm. And then we eat that money. Mm. We are not taking that essential measure. But and we're not day, helping ourselves either. We are not helping ourselves either. But then mm. of the day, that country that brought about that project uh, through their small different initiatives like mm. um, 
organizations and um, do things like that. Uh, sorry, that I'm not tired. It's just, I have to yawn. Yes, let's go on. is boring. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not about that. It's not that I'm bored or sleepy. It's just, yeah, it's, I really it's, don't know. It's understandable. Mm. But so, like, you see these countries that bring in the project, all they have to do is have a proposal that is passed. Mm. And then now with the rolling out, the implementation is a different story. Mm -hmm. So if the implementation does not take place, if we eat that money, mm. we are not doing anything to help the climate action. I'm glad that you've come down to us and you're talking about how now we're given money to help, you know, us help, help us help Mm -hmm. in you know controlling the whole situation but this is the thing now that we have not used that money for that project we don't want to point fingers but we have not used money for that purpose and now but we still have the problem at hand mm -hmm. so would you say there are ways that we can individually as a countries as a region as east africa because now we're narrowing down to where we are because we we, we can we, we can see we can talk about it we, we understand a little more a little better would you say there are ways where as a region or as kenya is uganda tanzania now we can now we have the problem the problem in our hands because mm -hmm. fine we've traded mm -hmm. we have the money we've mm -hmm. used that money for something completely different mm -hmm. aka people's pockets um now we have the the challenge at our hands what would you say is is that uh, you know there are, are, are the ways that we can help solve that as sufferers of the the people that are actually suffering firsthand yeah what we can try and do is work on our microclimates mm -hmm. our small mm. microclimates i don't know if you've ever wait, wait. explain to around. myself and other people Take us through microclimate. Oh, yeah. Because so I, was, I was giving that example. I don't know if you've ever walked around Nairobi. There are I places have. that are hot, 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 hot. Yeah. There is no um, mm. uh, trees. There's no cover. There's no, it's nothing. Mm. And then you get to some other places. Um, but Nairobi is a green city under the sun. As compared to other cities. Exactly. Very, but when you, when you... Just we are a very green about, city. It's, it's a very green <laughs> yeah. city in some places. No, but I understand what you In some other places, saying. it's not. Yeah. And essentially, what a, a, a microclimate is, just take a small climate... For that specific region. Mm. Now, we might not be able to automatically uh -huh, get the world, mm. but we can start by altering we our can small solve spaces. our problems yes. our way. Our small spaces, yeah. Mm. And so the first thing we ought to do, number one, is to understand that we can actually make a small difference. So we stop looking at it from a completely global perspective. Yeah. I started by saying that it is a global action. It's a it, problem it that is. we suffer. But, but now, we can actually make a mm. change in the small spaces. Yeah, what is our participation? In yeah. Thing, yeah. So we can actually start by the common one. Mm. We go renewable energy. Yeah. Go renewable energy. Okay. <laughs> so you are saying we should use, for example, we should use what in, in cooking and such kinds of things? Yes, exactly. You, mm. you should boycott natural gas and oil. No, I would, I'm, so I'm asking, how do you want us to cook? Um, cocoa. <laughs> I don't, like, there, there are so many renewable you, you energy. Know, this, um, if I was to cook with electricity, mm -hmm. is that better? Yes, it actually but is. But my money, my pocket. It, it's not that expensive. It is. I cook with Yo, electricity. We are buying and tokens and it's not cheap. And comparatively, as a person who cooks with um, gas, same amount of money. But you're, you're cooking for one. If I'm cooking for five. It's daily, the same, it's the same daily, amount of... I mean, so literally, you remember when we were talking about... Um, boiling of water, the anomalous behavior of water and all of that. It, once you get to a certain temperature, you spend the amount of uh, heat. So no, if I'm cooking for one or I'm cooking for five... Uh, it's not the same. The quantity the of food is different. Of... So it, it, I, let me, I just want to say mm -hmm. that if you were cooking rice for mm -hmm. one person <laughs> versus rice for 50 rice. people, uh -huh. uh, do we take the same amount of time? Do we, by the way? No, we don't. It's, I used to think it's supposed to be, but it's not. Also, I mean, no, but it I depends on your, your regulation, but it's not. Genuinely, this comparison if you've is been in the from, kitchen, this low comparison key, you know. is, is coming from a point of, um, mm -hmm. I'm comparing it to someone who is also one, mm -hmm. who cooks almost, I would hope, the same amount Once. of food as I would. The same amount of um, electricity. Um, the tokens that I pay because I use tokens and the same amount of, the, of the electricity they would use to continuously refill their gas mm. is averagely the same. You think? I think. So you're saying we don't consume much more electricity but when we when we cook I'm just, with I'm just saying example, it's a trade-off. Which opportunity cost are you willing to suffer is what I'm saying. Gas. It's cheaper. Yeah, but you're, you're affecting our environment. Yeah, but my, my, my you see, yeah. now the but you is, see, I also I'm going to also affect my pockets because now I'm suffering. I don't I, think I'm, gas is no, necessarily no, 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 no. Power cheaper. Of the tongue. I'm not. I don't think <laughs> I don't suffering. want to suffer. But um, what I'm saying is I'm not uh, financially climaxed. 
right? So I have to budget because we also that's a problem we also face economically. We are here staggering very I think much. We have a certain so, kind of fear. So I'm, I'm just asking: would it, would, you, would it cost us more if we went the renewable energy direction? Because we sometimes we don't do some things that we should do to make our lives better because we also don't have the capital or the means or you know the financial muscle. Hmm. Is it is it easier? Is it cheaper? Is it doable? Without having to suffer so much more. I don't think we are suffering so much more. No, I, no, I don't no, no. Think, not, <laughs> not suffering like, so much more like that. Like financially, say if what I was using is one thousand five hundred. Mm -hmm. So if I if I change that, you know, if I'm going to now spend say an extra two fifty, two hundred and fifty shillings, which would become seventeen fifty, then I wouldn't feel it as such a pinch. But if I'm going to to now spend have to spend double, then but I'm going to. But you're not going to spend double. That's, that's what, what I'm, I'm trying asking. to say. I'm mm. trying to say that essentially, I don't. I think we have a certain kind of fear. Yeah. Because we change is, is not easy. Change is not easy. Mm -hmm. And it's not every day that you can ask people to just change from this to that. From change the comfort from this zone to, to that. From the comfort zone to that. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, if we told everybody to go electric and they mm -hmm. stop using um, oil-based vehicles, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's almost difficult. That's doable. People are going to come up That's with doable. so many... People are going to come up with so That's many excuses. Doable. And they're going to tell you, oh, this and that. It's more expensive. And you but when, by the end of the day, when but you actually sit down... But is it? It's because not. If it if is, you ask me, it's if not. If it is, I'm defending it. <laughs> If, no, it's, you know, at the end of the day, we don't yeah. want people to go back to their pockets and suffer. We want mm. people to be as comfortable as possible. That's what and, that, but at that's... the risk of what at the same time. But, but at then, this then... point, I feel like electricity is cheaper. Renewable energy is cheaper. And we are saying that for a fact. So then we should tell that narrative. Tell people, renewable energy is cheaper. But can you change from your oil-based vehicle? That, that, that is, you just bought it. I can. <laughs> but now you see, if there's no electricity, if I don't have a place to recharge it, mm -hmm. if I don't have, if, if I'm using gas to cook, and then all of a sudden, um, I don't have, I, I need to use electricity. And you know the, st our, the status? Yeah. You, in, you, the regionally, we're not like... <laughs> electrically stable for lack of a better word yeah like the other day there yeah, was a national yeah. blackout a was national like, blackout so you if i was starving i was hungry <laughs> then i was not going to eat for I, the next like six hours i suffered i right. usually got home and there was no so you know what i'm talking about cook. Okay. yeah and, and, and the, we had that situation for about five hours or mm. something but there's there's also um so then what do i do ethanol or ethanol ethanol there's yeah. ethanol based um cookers Mm -hmm. There's always an alternative when you think about it. Like, for instance, I can't necessarily tell everyone that owns a vehicle right now to sell it and buy an electric one. There's no, the no, 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 sell it know. and buy a new one. Why are you very specific I, to the I vehicles? But where, when it comes to natural gases, green is actually a very big challenge, but genuinely speaking, mm -hmm. because as it is, we already embraced the fact that we need to refill, mm -hmm. you know, our cars. I'm saying the hours though I have, but yes, our cars. <laughs> At filling stations, right? Mm -hmm. And those are national, the nationwide surgery. You know, we have yeah. them all over accessibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, when we are switching to electricity and we are not informed, who wants to 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 have that? I don't know how do we even call it. It's not it's not a filling station, a recharging station. People don't have them. So I'm driving. I'm crossing the I'm crossing the country, right? Mm -hmm. I get to a place now. I've run out of my charge. Hybrid vehicles also, you know, use both. Oil and well, okay, what I'm trying to say is that by yeah. the end of the day, it's not a this yeah. snap and let's change the universe. Mm. So, one step at a time. What are these steps that we can take? Mm. And number one is walk more often. You don't really have to drive everywhere because mm. every single time you drive, you're releasing for you're releasing um carbon to the atmosphere. So Walking is healthy, guys. Walk, carpool, okay, carpool. Yeah. Take a vehicle, all of you. You don't have to. Everyone no, just in the family, you. Just, just everyone I'm in the joking, family guys. is just is, is, is using their own vehicle. Do you know? Emissions. Interesting. There's families where that have two kids and they have four vehicles, so each, everyone gets the, the yeah. Their vehicle. The mother lives for work. The father lives for work. Different cars. Uh, so Every child is dropped saying, differently. When it is in, that, in such a situation, carpool. Get yeah. into the car, all of you at once, so you can save on the emissions. <clears throat> use public mm. transport. Yes, my throat is misbehaving. KBS, yeah. Lofa. Use tra public transport. Okay, mm. you don't really have necessarily to keep driving yourself every single time. You will be helping the environment. You will be part of the climate action. But I'm going for... Like but if, if I'm going for... You see those... those I don't live... You see those, those small, I don't small live bars. close to my, to my workplace. I, I have am to going drive. to say this and I'm going to say this with a lot of confidence. Those small, small bats are bats everywhere. Hmm. Wow. That's <laughs> statement. <laughs> but 
but that's the thing. Yeah. Everyone has a bad. Everyone has yeah. a bad. For instance, um, when uh, in, in when when the USA pulled out from um the Paris Agreement, mm. uh, they said we are not going to give you our national determinant contributions. We are not going to tell you what we are going to do towards the climate mm. action. That is a lie. It is mm. hoax. It's mm. scam. When everyone says that, because you know it's not something that you can see, when everyone says that, when everyone has an excuse, nothing is going to change. No, some Things others are, are others are reasons, get, not excuses. Things are going to get worse. Others are that is it is an excuse to tell me. Reason. It is an excuse to tell me that it, no, but genuinely I can't walk to work. It's far. It is far. Yeah, it is far. But you could kapul if you are using. Um, no, I'm using. I'm, I'm using public means. What you mean? Anyona, what are you doing to help the climate? Ah, I'm I'm using public means. I'm helping. <laughs> I would have bought a car, but I don't want to, uh, the climate. To, I don't want. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want the atmosphere to suffer. I could have bought a car, guys. You could have. I could have. So you're not buying a car because but of I've climate change. Yes. Yeah. This is it's, going. This is going down on camera that you're not buying a car because of climate yeah. change. Yeah. Um. If you okay. hold me accountable, that's your problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I said what. <laughs> I'm joking though. Yeah. So you're talking about we're talking about individual effort and collective eff- effort yeah, as well. Because yeah, if you, effort. yeah, if we decide, you know, as as Nairobians, as how do people live in Kampala? Call it, call call themselves Kampalaians. As Ugandans, as Tanzanians. You're a battle. You cannot face. <laughs> no, genuinely, you know, it's better to ask. So if you're saying we, one of the things we can do is decide as a region. We 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 will avoid you know unnecessary usage of motor vehicles when we don't need to. If it's a distance, we can walk. If it's if it's a distance, we can go together. Mm-hmm. We should we should do that. Mm-hmm. To, to, you're encouraging us to use renewable energy. Mm-hmm. I must say. I Let must me say, ask you. Let me just, so mm-hmm. what if I cook with firewood? Mm-hmm. There's no, there's nothing wrong with that. Even though I'm cutting down trees. Actually, that's the thing. Renewable energy, firewood is renewable energy. Mm-hmm. But then again, what are you doing? Are you just taking and you're not giving back? Mm-hmm. You so know we the, should really encourage the, you to cut one plant trees. two. Yes, exactly. But my, let me tell you, I have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. Cut one plant two. You're cutting one to use it today. The ones you're planting are not growing today. If you want to cut, if you know in 2026, I'm going to cut down that tree for ABCD, plant them today. Plant them Now you see, that is a whole plant, other topic for a whole other day. Yes, but uh, sustainability just, is... Plant, don't wait for when you've already, for, for the consequence for you to now. To yeah, 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 you, you, you like, to, Mitigate it. Yeah, like you, you, you start early. Pretty soon. You plant so you can cut later. That? That's, <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. But oh, yeah, no, no, but nice you, you know, there's, there's always that one. I'm gonna cut that one, so I'm gonna plant others right now. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm just. I'm, I'm basically. My saying. biggest call to action for this meeting would, ha- for this conversation, yes. would have to be, mm. call out the government. Let's talk about it. And the people. We talked though, about it. We said yeah. that in the Paris Agreement. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, Paris. but in the in the Paris Agreement. Say <laughs> Paris. <laughs> My name is Wangeshi make, Karemi. Make, make in case it was not no, no, just, I am not just, going to just struggle. Make, make I am feel not better. going to struggle. Make me feel better. Say Paris. <laughs> okay. In the Paris Agreement, yes. essentially it was volunteer-based. You yeah. see, unlike the Kyoto Protocol that was, you have to make a commitment to actually fulfill this in the mm-hmm. next five years, the Paris Agreement was um, volunteer-based. Yeah. Uh, tell us, do you want to do this and how will you do it? And you know, no one is coming to beat you. No one is following up on you. No one is telling you that if you don't do this, you pay this fine and this fine. See, and like in the Kyoto Protocol, if you do not, if you if you exceed your signed amount units, you'd have to. And you see, the Paris Agreement was um, an an improvement. It came after the Kyoto Protocol. It's actually the most recent one. And so you li- you listen to that and you're like, so it's people doing what they want. Them choosing to do it or not choosing to do it, which is a problem because by the end of the day, no, but it shouldn't we'll be have, an we'll have the government, because like the Trump's suffering. government, pulling out of 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 uh, giving people the national contribu- determinant contributor. Mm. You'll see them pulling out and not doing anything about it. You see, because mm. by the end of the day, when it comes to climate change and environmental sustainability, some of us do not even have the in- enough information to actually make decisions as per se. The second thing, some of us Talk don't to me care. Direct. <laughs> And Yona does not have enough information <laughs> to to actually make the right decisions. But the point is, um, some of us don't care. Mm-hmm. Some of us don't care. Mm-hmm. Um, some of us think this is just nature; it will sort itself out. We don't want to look at 
the back of it all that Which is, is okay this is just nature to sort, sort itself out yeah and we have to accept that we are different people with different perspectives towards life and different perspectives towards, towards everything mm-hmm. but us who have the knowledge us who know the importance of the conference of parties us who know mm-hmm. the, the importance of planting trees mm-hmm. should actually call out the government mm-hmm. the other day we had a call out that was going around because the Kenya Forest Service in Kenya allowed for the approaching of baobab yeah. baobab in mm-hmm. Kilifi yeah. bao Baobab. That. In Kilifi. So we had a call to action and we had petitions going around yeah. and people signing those petitions. Mm. And just like that, that mm-hmm. stopped. Mm. Call out your government. Lobby. Because we have policies. We have very yeah. nice policies. The mm-hmm. National Environmental Management Authority yeah. has very nice policies towards ensuring climate action and environmental sustainability mm. in all three countries. In Uganda, mm. in, in Kenya, and in Tanzania. Yeah. But are they really fulfilling the mandate? Mm-hmm. And if they are not, what are we doing about, the, about it? Mm-hmm. It is their job to do that. Mm. Remind them it is their job. Mm. Tell them when they don't do it you ought to do it. Okay? Yeah, hold Go your to leaders platforms. accountable. Exactly. Go to Twitter and complain. Mm. If your National Environmental Management Authority for that small area you are in, mm. your county, your sub-county, is not doing what they're supposed to do, call them out. Mm. We live in a digital age where you can literally call anyone out on Twitter and it goes round, okay? Call them out. Change starts with you. And sometimes, it's all you need, okay? Mm. Just one petition going round. Just one petition. Find out what are the platforms to run these petitions, yeah? Mm. Mm-hmm. And even if you're going to do things like planting trees, yeah. make sure that those trees are growing. So we have so many initiatives every single day of people mm-hmm. planting trees. Right. Every other weekend, uh, yes. people are planting trees. Mm-hmm. And yet the percentage of tree cover in Kenya Forest is not cover increasing. Is, is it's not. Under, below 8%. And you, we, had, we, were, we have been targeting 10% for the longest time. Yeah. And why Imagine is it not just increasing? Imagine just 2%. Just why 2%. is it not increasing? Uh, because I, I, I think we, because we plant uh, when cameras are there and then we get done with it. So. Exactly. And then the trees are done. Yeah. Okay, so take the initiative to actually grow that tree. It's not about mm. planting trees. Grow that garden yeah. tree. Do that's, it. Like you, you really that, have to that's take the, initiative. That's the word to use. Grow it. Grow it. Yeah. You, you need to have to start taking initiative. Make sure that your small, before you call out anyone for not doing that, before you start saying, oh, the global leaders, because one day you're going to become a leader. Hopefully, I pray get, for you. Are we getting emotional? Yes. Should we find you yes. tissues? Yes. I, am, <laughs> I, am, I, I feel like it's yeah. very hypocritical for you to just call someone for uh, arriving in a, in a jet, in a private jet that was fueled um, by, mm-hmm. you know, Oil, oil yeah, best for yeah, yeah. what, whatever. Yes, and yet at the same time, you want <laughs> okay. carpool, you want mm. your comfort, you want to drive your old best motor vehicle. It depends a lot mine, of logic. It depends a lot mine. of logic because the minute you get into that position, yeah. the narrative doesn't change for you. Mm. It starts in the mind. Mm. Your attitude ought to change. Yeah. Your attitude towards environmental sustainability, climate action, everything ought to change. Once your attitude changes, then you will find out measures in which you can individually take to mm. change the narrative. Mm. Until then, we're going to sing this song until I don't know which year. We're going to talk, we're going to blame, we're going to blame everything and anyone that works. And until we start blaming ourselves, we are not going to change anything. You've gotten really passionate and really emotional and all of that. How can you say we should summarize this conversation? Hey, change your, change, change your mind. Change your mindset. Mm. Change your mindset. Where? Yeah. <coughs> we can't even speak at this point. <laughs> your mindset. Yeah. But the climate action is actually real. Mm-hmm. We are battling a lot of things. If yeah, you think yeah. that maize uh, growing for an extended longer period period of time does not affect not the amount of money that comes want. to your pocket, yeah. the food. If you think malaria becoming quite prevalent, despite the measures that the government and the world has taken to fight this disease, is not a problem, then you are sick. Change your attitude. And mm-hmm. then then. Mm-hmm. We can change the climate action, change the climate story mm-hmm. in the whole world. Yeah. I think we can I think I don't even have the energy to, to, <laughs> <laughs> to, to that was already a summary. I don't have the energy to go through it again. Um, but I believe we've we've had everything we've discussed today. So mm-hmm. this is just to urge by the time, probably by the time you're watching this, it's going to be somewhere close to your festive seasons. So Happy festivities, everybody. And reduce the amount of be meat. Be responsible. You eat. Reduce Take the amount care. of meat you eat. But it's my meat. Ah, yeah. Did you not know with my money, that it is increasing <laughs> no, amount of carbon in the atmosphere when you yeah, eat a lot of yeah, meat? Yeah, I'm joking. Yeah, so 
be don't, responsible, don't take care of yourselves. Happy seasons. Remember to save up for January because it is it the always economy does the is thing. tough. Yeah. And while while at it, remember, we, we are always available across all social media platforms at Speak Up Africa, Africa with a K. Mm-hmm. And you can always visit our website at any single time at for a more personal connection. Yes, at www.speakupafrica.net. Again, Africa with a K. K. My name is Anyana Bulungu. And mine is Wangeshe Karemi. And see you in episode six. Bye.